updates from Karnataka where the controversy over Karnataka's pro Kannadiga quota in jobs continues to peak even after the government decided to put the bill on hold. Now, in a latest development, the pro Kannada outfits have now threatened to begin protests against the Karnataka government if the bill is not cleared in the next cabinet meet. The issue was also raised in the assembly by the BJP and the BJP has lashed out at CMC Darumaya for creating confusion in the people while the government wasn't clear about its own decision. Meanwhile, the IT giants have come forward to support the Karnataka government and have stated that they'll comply with the regulations and guidelines that the government would come up with. However, CMC Darumaya has admitted that the decision did lead to a lot of confusion, but the cabinet will discuss in brief and make a better decision over the bill. They have come with a plan not to hear my reply. They wanted to prevent my reply because we have patiently heard all the leader of the opposition and other members. It is not a protest. They are, see that it shows they are not, not believing in democracy, not believing in parliamentary system of uh, democracy. If they do not want reply means, what does it mean? Why they have raised the issue? Why they have raised the issue? CBI huh? is already there. Minister, the Karnataka government, there is quite a storm after they came up uh, with a quota for uh, locals in the C and D category, even in the private uh, uh, establishments. As the industry's minister of neighbouring state of Kerala, how do you see this entire, though they have put this on hold as of now, the government? Actually, that is ultra wire to the constitution. You cannot give 100% reservation to the local aids in any private firms or government also. Uh, then, actually, we have treated on that, uh, that is... Kerala is ready to invite all uh, investors, uh, not only due to this incident, but we are always inviting investors to come here and invest and create more employment opportunities. Uh, here in Kerala, there is no quota. Only the merit, talent and skill is the criteria for recruitment of the uh, employees. Uh, we are not needed any type of reservation for the Malayalis or Keralites. We have sufficient uh, talented, skilled uh, human resources are available here. Then Kerala is trying to attract more investment to the state. Recently we have conducted, successfully conducted a, a first international uh, conclave on generative AI Kochi and we are going to host the first uh, international round table in robotics. We are focusing on knowledge industry and this is the right place to invest. But that type of things, so reservation for local rights, I think it is not uh, stand before the law.